doing group videos, girl. What you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Category. Stop using the word general notary work. That is, that is, you remember I told, what I said earlier? Motel 8, trying to get Ritz Carlton prices. When the hell have you ever spent premium dollar on anything general? I'll wait. Denise, if, if your home girl said, hey, I want to fix you up with this guy, and you say, how's he look? Eh, he general. What kind of job he got? He got a general job, you know? Like, <laughs> how enthused would you be to go on that date? How excited would you be to go on a date with a general person? Okay, you need heart surgery done. Heart surgery. Are you going to go to a heart surgeon or a general practitioner? I'll wait, dude. Stop using that word. Look, general on anything, even the businesses that use the word general, general dollar. Oh, my God. Right? Or dollar general. Shoot me now. <laughs> the hell dude like do you understand like that brings energy so when a person calls you and you're you're like oh that's just a general document or oh you have a general document just by you saying that or even thinking that it's a general document you're going to shortchange yourself you're going to shoot yourself in the foot right there before you even give out a price because you already have, you have already conditioned your mind to think it's general. Stop using the word general. Use the word specialty. I'm telling you, it's going to be a world of a difference. I study sales copy, you guys. I study sales copy. This is the, the smallest word can change everything for you. So what falls under specialty document? Affidavits, last will and testaments, affirmations trust package, power of attorney, guardianship, divorce, cremation. Those are specialty documents. You can even say it to your customer over the phone. Oh, you have a specialty document. Ah, huh. that shit sounds expensive. Okay, next one, next category you should always know is real estate. Now, each category should have a benchmark for your price. I'm giving you some heat. I'm going to give y'all some heat. I hope y'all ready for this. Screenshot this shit, you guys. Come on. Let's go. Specialty documents, my minimum is $129. Minimum. That's one page. Affidavit, $129.97. I don't go nothing lower than $129 across the board. Now, when I get into the real estate uh, documentation, the category, my minimum is one seventy eight ninety seven. Period. You should have a benchmark. You do not go lower than this price. So, what falls under real estate? Most of you guys already know, but a TODI, TODI is a great one too. By the way, transfer of death instrument. Oh, I love those. Uh, loan closings, I can't stand those. But yeah, minimum should be one fifty one seventy eight and up. Um, loan modifications, refis, land trust, warranty deeds, quick claim deeds, reverse mortgage, R anything real estate related. Now we're going to jump into the next category, which is business. Business could be anything from DBAs, government contracts, getting your liquor license, partnerships, dissolution, apostille, fingerprinting, I-9, anything that has to do with a corporation or a business that falls under the business category. Have your benchmark for that. Then you go into the financial side of things. This is where they got to get settlements, right? Like, oh, they got this lawsuit that went through. All right, well, I know you're about to get a couple of Gs. 
a couple of G's here, maybe tens of thousands of dollars. When I hear it's a settlement, oh yeah, it's like a buck 78 or more. Because I know you're about to get, you're about to get a nice piece of change. $178 should not stop you from getting and receiving 10,000, 15,000, a hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars, who knows? Insurance claims, right? Um, proof of life. By the way, keep your eyes open for proof of life. Alert, alert, alert. I'm giving you guys a, a, a heads up right now. Proof of life are circulating heavy. The reason why you have probably have not seen proof of life.